Okay, group anagrams. Given an array of strings, strings, group the anagrams together. So with this list of strings, eat, t, and eight are all anagrams. They are grouped. Bat is on its own. Nat and tan are also anagrams. That makes sense. So something good for grouping is a dictionary because common keys will group. And for each of the strings, well, we'll sort them because anagrams sorted will be the same, but we want to hash on this key. So it needs to be immutable. So we'll make it a tuple. Now, if the key is not in the dictionary already, well, then we'll put it in the dictionary and we'll make its value a list of just the string. Otherwise, we must have seen this anagram before. So we'll just append this string to that list. And I guess we can just return an iteratable of all the dictionary values. So let's run that. Hey, I'm pretty proud of that. All right, my shirt's inside out and I don't care what's going on here. Oh, he's sorting all of the strings. That's kind of inefficient. So firstly, we'll make this a default dict. That's just nice. And then for each of the strings, he had the right idea. We'll still get a key, but it's going to be the count of the letters because each anagram will have the same number of the same letters. If we set key at the ord of C minus the ord of A to go up by one here, this is what allows us to count the letters. But he's right, arrays are mutable, so this has to be a tuple. Now it's immutable and therefore hashable. We'll set the answer at the key and append that immediately with S. We can return the same thing and a weird flex.